Chittagong has a reputation for being a religious city, so it isn't a surprise that Bangladesh's biggest Islamic political party has a strong support base here. In the recent past, the country's second city has been the scene of robust protests by Jamaat activists. But while violence in the rest of the country has escalated, Chittagong has become more quiet. That's because police have been rounding up Jamaat supporters and throwing them in jail. Al Jazeera interviewed a Jamaat activist. Obaidur insisted we meet in a safe location. He was worried about being arrested. Nowadays, the people are a bit, uh, they're home arrest. I can say home arrest. And our people, they can't come out in the street. They can't uh, make any homely uh, meetings even. Uh, whenever they are gathered, the police comes and they say, yes, you are under arrest. Or they are, uh, if there is a protest in the street, they start shoot at sight. It's not just the police. Jamaat has made many enemies over the years among activists of Awami League, the ruling party. This is the scene of one of the most notorious mass murders in Chittagong's recent history. Back in 2000, a van carrying a group of Awami League activists was coming down that road when it was ambushed at this intersection over here. A group of Jamaat men sprayed that van with bullets before fleeing down that road over there. Eight people were killed that day. Shahid remembers the day his comrades were murdered. He says Jamaat is taking the country down a dangerous path. It was like a father and mother had died. We were in shock. We didn't know what to do. The way Jamaat acts, they don't protest peacefully. They fight and kill. It's not the way democracy is supposed to work. But Obaidur plays down Jamaat's reputation for violence. Some boys are hesitating because their, their friends are being killed. So they try to show up their agitation. I don't say that uh, public buses should be burned, but these are incidents, accidents. These are not planned things. Members of Jamaat accused the ruling Army League of trying to wipe out their party by putting its activists in jail and its leaders on death row. With the upcoming elections, Jamaat-e Islami could be fighting for its existence. Mahir Sattar, Al Jazeera, Chittagong.